Okay, this video again is part of a series. Be sure to check out the links in the description. There should be a link to the full playlist as well as links to my website. Be sure to watch the previous videos before watching this one and there will be a new one each week for the coming weeks. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any. Last week we were talking about panning and zooming to adding, you know, uh, pictures and pictures uh, and you can do multiple layers of that. But today we're going to be talking about adding, uh, you know, text and images still images over your video, which is pretty simple. Um, and yes, there is a title clip editor, which I briefly went over in a previous video, and there's a lot more I can do, but I'm not even going to get into that just right now. Today I'm going to be generating text elsewhere because, to be quite honest, although you can do some neat stuff with the uh, title clip editor, um, if you really want nice looking text, you're going to want to render it somewhere else. And you can use like GIMP or Blender, or if you're lazy, you can open up your web browser and go to cooltext.com. Select the, the font you want, and not all will work great, like these animated, animated ones probably won't work very well. They're not going to be animated. We need a still image. Basically, we just need a still image with a transparent background. You can just choose any one of these, like this lava one. Type in what you want, like uh, www.filmsbychris.com, and then click see how it looks create the logo and download it. I've already done that with some blue text here from that website. And then we're also going to add an image. So I just went to Google, searched Tux Linux, did an image search, and picked one. And again, we want one with a transparent background, which means it can't be a JPEG. Although, I mean, you could use a JPEG, but not with the technique we're using today. We're going to use a PNG. You can also use GIF. I'm trying to, I don't know what else. I don't think bitmaps don't have transparent layers. Um, but the way you'll know it's transparent background is when you look at it like this, you can see the gray and white boxes in the background. That's indicating that it is a transparent background, unless someone purposely put a uh, gray and white checkered background on an image. Uh, but go ahead and download whatever image you want. This is the one I downloaded. So here we go. They're both in my project bin here. I already put a clip of me talking down here and muted it so we don't have to hear me talking in the background. And the first thing we'll do is I'll drag down this text here, stretch it to fit our video clip, or however long we want it to be in our video clip. And as you can see, as soon as I start scrubbing through it, the text is right there and it's transparent. The only thing we need to do is put it where we want it. So we're going to select that clip and up here in our effects editor, search zoom. And just like last time, in the last video, we're going to choose position and zoom. And at that point, we can drag it where we want it like so. Next I'll grab the tux image and make that the full length of the video if I wanted it to be. Sometimes you'll get this. You'll notice that this clip right now you can see these white borders and even the words I just imported have a white line at the bottom. Those aren't really there. <laughs> They're little artifacts. In fact when I start resizing this, yeah, it went away. Uh, I'm going to put that where I want it. Unless there's actually a white line in the image uh, that's not going to show up when you're rendering. Just for some reason it shows up in the preview here. So if you're unsure, render a short clip of the video and see if it shows up. If not, you're good. Or open up the image in GIMP. If you don't see that white line in GIMP, it's not there. So now I have that and you can see there's a white line at the edge of this. That's not really there either. It's, it's your imagination. So there we go. Simple enough. I have a logo up at the top here. I have the words right here. But again, just like last time we can use keyframes, let's say we want that logo to come flying in from the side of the screen, or the words come flying in. I'm going to choose the, the words here, so I'll choose that clip. Go to where I want it to come in, so we'll say at about the four second mark, I want it right there. I'll go back one second and I will add another keyframe and I will drag this off screen. I'm just going to eyeball it and make it kind of straight. If you want to be technical about it, you can put in the XY coordinates. So if you wanted it to make sure that it was a perfectly level animation coming in, you can adjust uh, just the X and leave the Y alone, making sure it doesn't move up and down. And then I'm also going to go back to the original keyframe here and remove that. So now I can come over here to the beginning of our video. I can press spacebar to start playing. Again, it looks kind of jerky. This is just the preview. Once you render it, it won't look jerky. And there you go. The words came flying in from the side of the screen. We'll watch that again. So we have the logo up here. And in a second, there we go. 
so I can render that out and I have video with uh, logos and um, text on the screen so that is it for this tutorial this is very useful again uh, there is a title clip editor but it doesn't it doesn't do nice font like this it does very big I mean you can use whatever fonts you want but it's not gonna have the look of, of this in fact a majority of the time if I'm gonna have some sort of words on the screen more than just like some sort of credit or something uh, I usually just make animations in blender because it's simple and it's looks cool but another way would be to create text gimp has some uh, text generation uh, scripts in it but uh, this cool text uh, website has a whole bunch already pre-made and it takes a few seconds and I'm pretty sure I've read before if you read uh, the usage you, you're free to use them for anything I'm pretty sure double check me on that before you get in trouble for using them but uh, web page anything else you need to impress your logo simply choose a kind then fill them out somewhere there is you know questions on where you can use it and I'm not sure if there's any restrictions I, I don't think there are contact us privacy policy live logo stream consumer information they don't collect any data anyway I know somewhere on the page it does say something on basically I'm pretty sure you can use them anywhere but don't quote me on that anyway thank you for watching again check out my website filmsbychris.com that's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description of that. And there you can search through all my videos from both my channels. Be sure to check out the full playlist for this video as well as my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash melex1000. I look forward to your support, either financially that way, or you can support me by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. It really does help, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.